Hi, I'm Patrick Novotny, this is my YouTube channel, and I'm doing how-to videos on every single necktie knot known to man, and I'm bringing them to you. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, I hope you subscribe. Alright, this time I'm going to bring you the Eric Lenny Diagonal Knot. Now, it doesn't seem like it's, uh, you know, really different or anything like that, but I'll tell you what I really like about it. It's super easy to tie, and it feels like I'm wearing the four in hand, but it feels like a nice, solid knot. It doesn't feel like it's going to come loose uh, in any way. It doesn't feel like I should be adjusting it. It feels like a solid knot. So, if you want sort of something that looks like a four in hand, let's say, and asymmetrical and that long shape to your knot, this is the one. Anyhow, I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, here we are with Eric Glennie's diagonal knot. You're going to drape it over your neck. You're going to be tying it with the big end. So it's going to be uh, sort of the same length of, as what you might tie uh, a full Windsor knot. Anyhow, I've got the little end just around where my belly button is. That's what fits me. You're going to have to learn exactly what works for you. All right, let's take a closer look at Eric Glennie's diagonal knot. All right, we're taking the big end. We're going to cross it over the little end. This is going to start to sound repetitive. All right, let's say around the back and now across the front. That's second time across the front. Keeping this knot very tight, we're going to do around the back and across the front again. That's the third time across the front. And now we're going to do it one more time around the back. Keep that knot tight. And then finally, this is the last one in around the front. So now we've got a really solid cylinder shape in there. Now we're going to feed the necktie up or the uh, big end up through the back of the necktie knot. We're going to feed it down through this loop right here. Pulling on the big end, we're going to tighten up our knot. Holding on to that knot with one hand, pull down with the big end to get that desired shape. And now that's a solid knot. Pull on the little end, holding on to the knot, cinch it up to our neck. There we go. So that's how you do the Eric Glennie diagonal knot. If you're looking for that asymmetrical, solid looking, uh, sharp looking knot that is uh, long in that sort of style, style, if that's what you're used to, if that's what you like, then try the Eric Glennie diagonal knot. Anyhow, I hope you like it. If you don't, let me know. You like it? Let me know that too. My name is Patrick Novotny. I'm doing how-to videos on every single necktie knot known to man. I'm bringing them to you, and if that's the kind of thing that you like, then I hope you subscribe. Thank you so much.